By the time people were dropping off kids at Summit Middle School in Johnston, the ground was already covered in snow, but not the way Iowa Cubs hoped to start the day, but at least Principal Park didn't look like this. Gross. Let it be over. Uh, better news today, though. The weather did not stop the Iowa Cubs from celebrating their home opener. We were kind of worried about that. Somebody that's been there all day, all night, he might sleep there tonight because he's the biggest baseball fan in this station. Andy Fails, live from Principal Park. Fans were still taking in what baseball is all about, the pastime, even if their teeth were chattering quite a bit today, Andy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, uh, Elias, it was the uh, kind of day when stocking caps outnumbered baseball caps. Uh, sleeves were long, but beer lines were short. There were fans here, but many were hard to see under all those layers. If you're someone who likes to try to catch the I Cubs on their opening day here at Principal Park, chances are you've got some stories about crazy weather on that opening day. Some weather that didn't much feel like baseball. Are your Iowa Cubs? Welcome back. Give me uh, your best story of bad weather on opening day. Uh, I was standing in about the same spot. It was cold, it was windy, it was sleeting. And I think I lasted about two innings before I went home. <laughs> we lost an entire series to 10 inches of snow, I think. That was a mess. That was probably the worst one I can remember. What are some of the bad conditions you can remember? The wind. Always the wind. Standing in the rain. Wind, snow, rain, ice. The secret is lots and lots of layers. The sun's going to go down, and it's going to get a lot colder. I know it is, because I can feel it already just standing here. Does anybody have it worse than Iowa? Oh, it's St. Paul. Uh, they, last year, they, I don't think they played four of their first five games at, at home. They had a lot more snow than we did. I talked to a couple of colleagues already today that had to postpone. And I would say maybe a handful of times that it's been perfect conditions here since I've been here for well, my 25th season. <laughs> This is that hurdle. You're into spring. We're getting to warmer weather, so you got to be here. Tomorrow will be okay. It's just going to be windy again. But then Thursday, Friday, Saturday sound pretty good. And then I got to get Ed to figure it out Sunday for me. <laughs> well, this could potentially be a chilly month for the Iowa Cubs. They are here through Sunday, and then they hit the road to St. Paul for six days, and then they come back here for six more days, and then they go to Buffalo for six games, and then they come back here for six more games. So you heard Sam Burnaby, a little help from Ed Wilson, and things will be okay down here at Principal Park, guys. Yeah, we tend to get over things pretty quick if you're a baseball fan, right? As soon as we hit that perfect weather, Andy, you kind of forget about a day like today, right? I, yeah, a few months from now, we'll all be sweating down here and we will have forgotten <laughs> what it felt like to be standing here in a winter coat. Well, we appreciate you being out there, toughing it out with those true fans today. Andy Fails, live at the ballpark.